What is going on guys, this is here, and welcome back to some more Arc Genesis. Now, last time I left off, we were doing some stuff, but I want to do some more stuff this episode, namely some more missions, because last time I left off, we're just kind of messing around with our brand new magma sword that grew up and went on a little bit of a rampage with them inside the volcano and leveled them up hardcore, as well as uh, tried out the mining drill to see how well that is able to mine up like those red crystals or whatever. They give us the element uh, shards and this thing seemed pretty good. And of course, we maxed it out like 270 percent or something, 280 percent right there. So that's kind of weird, but whatever. Either way, this episode, what I want to do is either do like a race or or like one of those. Uh, what are they called again? They're or like a scavenger hunt. I guess we could try and do either one of those or maybe even both if we have enough time this episode. So I know they're both in this area over here. I don't know which one's which, but of course over there we have like the Waves of Dinos mission, which I don't want to do until we have better armor, perhaps a full set of tech or something like that. And of course, once we actually have that armor, we're going to be susceptible to like the poison gas or whatever that comes out of these gas vents over here. So we want to watch out for those, make sure we don't take any poison damage from those or else, you know, we're going to die. And uh, we just entered a mission area, so I assume somewhere over here is going to be one of those uh, mission selector doohickeys. And I don't know which one. Uh, oh, there's one right there. Which one's that? Oh, and there's another one in the background. Which one's which? Is this the race? Is this the uh, OK, this is the race right here. OK, I, I guess we could do a race. Maybe we do like the first, the uh, the gamma and the beta, and then I guess we could do a scavenger hunt if we have enough uh, time. And then uh, we could do alpha perhaps in a different episode, because uh, usually the alpha version of these races can be kind of tough and maybe even impossible. So I don't know if we'll be able to actually do the race, uh, the alpha version of the race, uh, like at all. <laughs> so maybe we can save that for a little bit later on. But for right now, I guess we do the gamma version of dead heat. Yeah, let's do a race. What are we going to be racing on this, uh, this race though? Let's mount up and get our race on. Mount up on what? What are we ra uh, racing on? It looks like we're on a Gallimimus. All right. Well, I assume this thing has full. Oh, OK. I see the path in ahead of us. Get set. Go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Sprint ahead. But yeah, it looks like we have pretty good uh, carry weight on us right now. Oh, I hit a random rock right there and it slowed us down. Are you kidding me? Oh, it looks like it might get sped up right here. Boom. Nice. All right. Oh, my God. We randomly get hit by an ankle right there. Are you kidding me? This slows us down. Ah, oh, that's terrible. Oh man, there's like two uh, speed. Oh, oh, oh. oh, we could go through either one of these things right here. There's like three of those speedy things we could have taken right there, but we we went through the one on the right. I don't know how you would have gone through the one on the center though. That's kind of crazy. Oh, whoa, whoa. Seems like we're making good time here. Five out of twenty-one of the. Oh, Magmasaur right there. Could have easily gotten damage from that thing. I wonder how much health this guy actually has. Like, is it possible for my my mount to actually die during this? <laughs> I assume it's possible. But, oh, oh my god, we randomly ran into a truck. I couldn't even see it right there. What? What? Get out of the way. What are you doing? Oh my god, this random trike. Oh, can this guy jump? I think he can, right? Yeah, he can jump. Man, I guess I could have jumped over him, but I couldn't even see him. All right, well, we have a minute left. Oh, wait, no, we have a whole minute as our time right now. And we have about five minutes left. So we've got plenty of time. This is only the gamma version of this. See, this is what I'm talking about. We have, we have very small margins if we had the alpha version of this. We probably would. Oh, my God. I thought we were stuck again. We probably only have like a minute, maybe 30 seconds left or whatever. If we're doing the, uh, the alpha version of this, but we're going to be doing beta after this. Hopefully, there's going to be plenty of time after uh, while we're doing that. I'm just trying to focus right now on the map. We're about halfway right now. 13 out of 21 of those, and I feel like they're going to... Yep, they're starting to, to squish together here, these little little checkpoints. So I'm, and then of course, we're going around corners and tight turns and stuff like that. And we're going inside the volcano itself right now, I believe. No, 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 we're just going through like a tunnel. <laughs> Nothing too crazy, but we have an avalanche going on right now. Get out of the way, Stego. Get out of the way. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? He's so slow to back up. These Steggers are actually in the middle of the road, man. All right. Well, we still have plenty of time. This is just a gamma, but man, if this was the beta, we would have lost so much time right there. I'm like, we already did lose a lot of time, but still. Okay, let's just focus. And I see the checkered flag at the very end, and there's a trike in the way, of course, and another iguanodon. Get out of the way. Boom. Man, yeah, no one's faster than me because I'm in single player. Man, oh God, I'm done. Oh, whoa. You're number one in the simulation. You must be knackered. That tired me out. And I'm a hologram. Yeah, I can only imagine. Man, that was, that was kind of dumb. 
<laughs> we do need to, uh, let, let's offload some of the loot in this guy. Ooh, Night Midget Gallicles. As well as, uh, hey, they gave us flippers here after we did the ocean pile. <laughs> and, uh, of course, yeah, we have the tech helmet there. I'll, I'll save the tech helmet for whenever we actually do the... Oh, man, it got rid of the fossils or whatever? Oh, no, I think I put that up. Hold on. Make my trike look like a skeletal trike. Oh, okay, I guess I guess if we do tame a trike, we can put this on him, and he'll look like a skeletal trike, which will be pretty interesting. But yeah, I do have the tech helmet still, so if we do do that uh, scavenger hunt this episode, which I think we're going to be doing, uh, we could actually be a little bit more armored up. Anyways, let's do the beta version of the race, which is going to have a, a, a lower time limit. Let's mount up and get our race on. So of course it's going to be a little bit tougher once we actually do that. Oh, and there's the Gallimimus. Boom. All right. Let's keep our eyes peeled. We're going to be getting attacked. We're going to get our, our like, pathway blocked. Three, Thankfully, this two, thorny dragon went behind one. us. Stop! And let's not forget that we could jump. So if we do hit an obstacle and we run into a tree or a bush or a freaking trike or whatever. Oh, speaking of such. Oh, and then there's another trike right there. I went around him. I went around him right there. Probably missed a little bit of time, but whatever. At least we didn't get blocked by him, right? And there's a uh, catcher swords right there. Just go around him as well. All right, I think we're good. Yeah, I don't know what the, uh, I guess we, yeah, probably would have been a better idea to go left right there. We don't have to squiggle around all this stuff quite as much. And there's a Gallimimus, do not mess me up, I'm a fellow Gallimimus. And I think right here is where we get like a trike or a stego or something like that, right? Thankfully we went past them, so that's good. And uh, there was a Magmasaur back there and another Gallimimus going to block us right there. Okay, thankfully not. Whew. Seems like we're getting a little bit better luck this time. Oh, what? I'm suffocating from what? I'm suffocating from what? I have the, the helmet on. Oh, God. Oh, I didn't make that jump. Oh, my gosh. I have to go around. How in the world was I suffocating right there? I have the helmet on, I think. I don't have the tech helmet on. It's in my inventory. I have the, uh, the hazard suit helmet. Huh. I don't know what's going on with that. Either way, let's just keep going on. We're, we're doing pretty decently right now. We have a whole two minutes left. So I... How much time did we do last time? Like two minutes and two and a half minutes or something like that? I think we might be able to do beta no problemo. And I'm, I'm hopefully not getting too ahead of myself here. Just go. Go, yo, yo, yo. Do not over. Oh, oh, oh my god, he's. Why is this turning so terrible? There you go. Whew. Man, I just. I don't know if the uh, the TLC update has anything to do with the Gallimimus. I don't think it did. I think it only had something to do with the Stego and the Mammoth. But it feels like the control. And of course, like the, the bugs that get actually breed and stuff like that, right? And uh, my favorite thing is that they have like a taming UI now, which is really, really cool. If we do tame something, we can actually check in our like UI to see the taming progress of that thing. We'll have to actually go to the thing itself. We can just open up our menu and it'll say, hey, oh my God, here we go again with the stegos blocking the paths. Go, that's what I'm saying, move. Oh my God, it's they're putting these stegos here on purpose. What, come on, what are you doing? And then there's an avalanche. Oh my gosh, I need to come through here with my Magnus and just kill everything here. Just to make sure I don't block the paths. Yeah, thankfully I'm not going to be doing the Alpha variant to this, like right off the bat. We have a little bit less than a minute. Oh my god, Gallimimus. But we, we have the finish line like right there. We're going to have it with like 30 seconds to spare, I'd say. Now, 37 seconds. Yeah, we would have been able to do that a little bit faster if we didn't get our heckin' blocked and if we made that one jump, but whatever. In the end, I feel like we did a good job. Oh yeah, we got a flamethrower right there. Interesting. Good on ya! There's a max level Sega right there. What do we get? Apprentice flamethrower. Yeah, I definitely want to try out those things. I haven't I don't think it's like I keep saying it. I don't think I've tried out those things since uh Scorched Earth. We got another compound bow and two more night vision things right there and a my might tonic, so that's pretty cool. Either way, let's put all the loot on our Magbasaur, and I guess we'll do the, uh, the scavenger hunt next, and see how we do with that. Let me check my armor, though, real quick. Yeah, why was I suffocating there? What? This is... What? I had the helmet on. Or the hazard suit hat. I have no idea why I was suffocating there. Now I'm half health because of that. That's so dumb. Either way, let's get on our Magbasaur, and I think that one back there. That's the scavenger hunt, right? And I don't know how good this guy's going to be at uh, traversing the map and stuff, because of course we're going to go all around the map for scavenger hunts. Uh, he seems relatively fast. His, his inventory's not too terrible. I could drop some stuff off, I'd, I'd say. Uh, and then of course we have some metal ingots over here. I just had to re-up on it. It seems like every time we go near the base, something keeps sucking up all the metal ingots out of his inventory, like actual smelted metal ingots. It shouldn't be the forge, though, because it's supposed to only have raw metal, but whatever. Uh, how's he doing? Forging? Ah. I think he's fine. I think I think he's fine. He should be able to move pretty fast right now. So let's do this one over here. What's this one called again? Uh, one heck of a treasure hunt. <laughs> That's what it's called. Don't get me demonetized. 
And it was a start, the gamma version of this. One heck of a treasure hunt. Boom. There you go. This should give us the most amount of time. That way we can traverse the map and then we'll see how much time we have left over. We may be able to do the beta version of this afterwards. Retrieval, then retreat. You got it? Yep, sounds good to me. Retrieval, then retreat. Retrieval, then retreat. Seems like the first area is right up here. Now, do I have to go up that or... I can't tell. Do I have to be up or... What? I think I have to be up there. Oh my gosh. Wasting time already. Oh my gosh, is that RG? Why? Why is that RG attacking me? 3,000 damage, instantly dead. Pfft. Well, I guess that's one thing you have to watch out for. Random stuff attacking me and then making me harvest stone and then getting me up on carry weight. All right, well, it looks like up here, not down there, is where we have to start the first checkpoint, so. I guess I could have gone either way because it looks like it ramps up down there. Okay, whatever. Scanning. Come on, scan, scan, scan. Let's find the artifacts. Where are they? Come on, Helena. Five more seconds. This is the treasure hunt, right? Like, I'm actually supposed to be finding the things. I'm not supposed to be My fighting creatures. But it's a ways off. What? Oh, is this a different type of mission now? Than uh, I was thinking this was? I thought this was like the scavenger hunt. Is this not? It, I, I think this, this is kind of reminding me of... Uh, the ch like the mixture of like the waves of dinosaurs thing as well as the scavenger hunt. I forgot what that was like technically called, but I guess uh, just go to the checkpoint. Just go to the. Hold on. Let's do let's do the all around me explosion of fire thing to try and do maximum damage to everything. There you go. And then we'll do another one right here. Boom. Maximum explosion damage. There we go. And if anything wants to. Oh, if anything. Yeah. I think we get XP for this, don't we? So this is going to be a fantastic way to level this guy up. Two more seconds in this area, then we move on to the next one. Okay, honestly, I feel like this one might be a little bit more fun than the, uh, the actual scavenger hunt. I guess, if anything, we still will be able to uh, adventure around and, and kind of get a little bit of a tour. Oh, there's raptors in this map? What? I think I just saw a raptor right there. I don't think I've seen them in this map. They were back in the bog. And, uh, of course, I think X-Raptors were on the lunar biome, but I didn't, I don't think I've seen them here before, but either way, let's do this. Big AOE explosion damage all over the place, I assume. There you go, eight more seconds. But yeah, of course, we are in the gamma version of this. So we are doing more damage and taking less damage, but this guy's at about half health right now. Oh, I forgot to grab the ambergris when I was at home. Man, I knew I forgot something. All right, another 200 meters out of way and we'll be able to scan the next location. Let's move, let's move, let's move. All right, yeah, definitely don't want to dismount and use the jetpack or anything like that. This guy is able to deal out damage. He'll see he's able to soak up damage like it ain't no thing. So just move, move, move. These guys can follow me all they want unless they're blocking my path like that. We'll take out, we'll take care of them a little bit later, but oh my God. Okay, we got to do another explosion thing here. Am I able, what? Cannot charge? It's because I'm technically floating, I think. Because they're pushing me. Oh my God, everything is attacking me right now. Everything is attacking me. Come on, Helena, I'm basically there. Start scanning already, what are you doing? There's a basilisk. Oh my God, okay, okay, so you're expe and then we'll do the explosion. There we go, we did some good damage there, that's good. Hopefully Helena's still able to scan. How's that Carno still alive? There he goes, dead. Jeez, all right, one more second. Holy, that's crazy. All right, how are we doing on carry? I yeah, okay, we're still good on carry. Wait, that's great, that's great. Where are we going? That away, 100 meters. And of course, another trike. Literally everything is coming out to attack us. Why am I so slow? What happened? I think I was, I can't tell what it is because I have to level up right now enough to apply it and I'll be able to read that, but. Oh, we're going into, oh, there's a cave entrance over here? Oh, and of course there's a basilisk right, right here. There you go. Trying to hit this guy with the searing spit. A small level searing spit, but able to kill him nonetheless. Come on, come on, come on. Oh man, Helen is already done. Look at all those maxed out bats right there. What? There's like four of them. Hold on, hold on, here we go, here we go. Next location right here. Searing spit behind us. And then do the explosion. Is that going to kill him? I don't think it did, unfortunately. Come on, oh, Alpha Triceratops right there, what? One heck of a treasure hunt. Oh, I'm look, oh, wait, what? So I'm hunting for the X Triceratopses or something? What? I didn't even read the description of this thing. I don't, I don't even know what I'm looking for here. <laughs> but I guess we found the X Triceratopses or X Alpha Triceratopses that we're looking for. Uh, X Alpha X, X Triceratops skull? I'm supposed to harvest its dead body or something like that? I think that's what I'm supposed to do, but there's things behind me pushing me. Come on, kill the Arthropora. Get the skull. How in the world? Okay, let's do a steering spit here. Hopefully it's going to do enough AOE to kill the heckin' Arthropora. No, it's not. 
How is this still alive? Okay, it's dead. Whew. All right. Man, that guy keeps getting slowed down hardcore. Pick up the skull. There you go. Escape with my uh, prize. Oh, this is... The, oh, okay. Now we're in the getaway part. Okay, so similar to the ocean biome, when we had to kill all those megalodons and get the megalodon teeth and then get out of there, that's all we had to do for this? What? I feel, I feel like the icon was kind of symbolizing, oh, go to this location, pick up like the weird glowing orbs and then get out. Now I'm stuck, I can't move. Oh my god, now we got T-Rexes and everything over here trying to attack us. <laughs> ah, man, but hey, at least we probably have a ton of level ups for us. So that's going to be great. Let's just go on the escape route. Come on, come on, come on, follow the escape route. We have a trike up there, or a T-Rex, we have a basilisk. We have a lot of stuff here, but we have plenty of time. Oh wait, no, we only have two minutes. Yeah, I've got that the timer kind of resets. Whenever uh, you're, you're doing the escape route thing, that's how we lost the first time we did. Oh my god, there's so many basilisks. There's like a basilisk, two basilisks behind us now. How? This is this is the thing that keeps happening. We get so many random critters that aren't like killing us. They're just blocking the path. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, I, I'm definitely going to be able to do the beta version of this, I'd say. And I, I feel like we have enough time to do the uh, to, to do the escape route here, no problem, I'd say. And then I feel like we, we should be able to do the beta version. Oh my god, there's so many. Look at all that! Hold on, let's do a steering spit. Hopefully it's going to be able to... Oh, oh my god! It just killed, like, everything right there. Holy heck. There's the end, I think. I think I think that's the actual straight-up end. Hold on, let's do another steering spit right here. There's, like, two more basilisks, another uh, T-Rex, a billion Arthropleros, trikes, scorpions, everything. But hey, at least we're getting some level ups here, right? We have plenty. We have a whole minute. I guess we might as well try and kill things because I think these things are going to despawn whenever uh, we go through the finish line. So let's do a big, huge explosion. Is that going to kill everything? I don't think so. Hold on. Let's do this searing spit right here. And boom. Uh, I'm still getting killed by a heckin' trike right there in one Arthropleura. How in the world? I can't move. Oh my god. Okay, let's just go. Let's just go. Let's just go to the escape. I think that it's just one Arthropleura. It's not that big of a deal. Let's just go to the end. <laughs> there we go. Man, what in the world did they give me there? Hundreds of pounds of trash. Bunch of riot armor. Hey, that's good and all. Bunch of armor in general. A lot of saddles. I'm over a thousand pounds right now. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, before we do the, uh... The beta version of that, I'm definitely going to go home and I'm definitely going to... Let, let's, drop, let's drop off some, like, stone and stuff, like, right now. There we have stone. I, I guess we could keep the hide and, and the wood. We have, we have a decent amount of that. I'll also drop stuff like the cloth. Like, if I have any cloth, just drop it. Like, that's going to get rid of a whole pound right there. Whoa. Whew. Better watch out, you guys. Whoa. And then, uh, yeah, definitely do want to heal up uh, once we go home. Let's go grab some ambergris and we'll be good on that front. I forgot how good the melee damage is on this. Uh, it goes up by about 2%, 2, 2 to 3% per level up right there. Not too bad. I so suppose we get a few of those level ups. Went, went about like 10% right there. Not too terrible, nothing too crazy either. Manta Ray Saddle there. I can probably just salvage that, honestly. And a bunch of, uh, bunch of raw meat here. I guess I'll just drop like all the room. It's not like you eat it, right? So there you go. Just drop all that trash. And we're down to 831 pounds. All right, that, that, that's good. That's better. That's more manageable. We can actually move around now, which is good. But yeah, we, we kept getting stuck on so many critters here. It's crazy. We're actually getting some torpedery right now, too. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. Uh, but let's go home. Let's drop off some of the loot. Let's go grab some ambergris. And I guess we'll go do that a mission again. What was that mission again? Oh, and by the way, uh, here is right here, taming list. Yeah, if I'm taming anything, I'm able to track stuff over here, which is really, really cool, and I'll be able to keep track of them. And I think it even shows, I'm not 100% sure, I haven't tested it out just yet. The update literally just came out, like, yesterday or the day before. Uh, but I think it shows, like, a, I don't know if it shows, like, a beacon, but I think it shows, like, a waypoint where your critter is, so you can, like, actually find it and you don't have to lose it, so that's going to be really helpful. Usually whenever I'm, uh, taming a critter, oh, whoops. Usually whenever I'm taming a critter, I, I look at the XYZ, or, you know, land, la latitude, longitude to try and figure out, oh, this is where it is, and if I want to come back, that's uh, where I need to go to find it. Oh, and there's an egg right there. What What egg is that? It looks, is that fertilized? I can't tell because I've got a lot of trash on in my inventory. Oh my god, that's so much stuff. Jeez. What is that? Uh, I don't think it is. Yeah, it's, it's, it looks just, I think it's just regular. Oh, you know, oh my god! Did they change something with this? Is it the heckin'... What do you call it? The, the the hazard suit stuff not able to protect me from the suffocation? I guess not. What is that called? Gas burst. Health decreases over time. Yeah, I don't know how to avoid that. It seemed like we had some hazard suit armor earlier that helped us out with that, but I guess it doesn't help us out anymore, so that sucks. Let's go over here. Let's grab some ambergris. We have five right here. What? What happened to the other ambergris? Hold on. 
I had way more than that. Hold on. Uh, do we have enough? I'm so. Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Let me let me see if I can pull any ambergris into my inventory. Ambergris. I we only have five. What? I had like eighty something, maybe even like a hundred something. I don't think I have just five right now. What? Unless maybe. I, I, I know I cryopotted up one of our uh, magma sores, and I'm like, at least it, this will surely be able to take him up to... Oh, man, no, it's not. I'll take him up a little bit right there on health, but nothing too crazy. Man, now I'm kind of worried. Now I kind of want to make a, a quick detour to the moon and, and grab a bunch of ambergris just real quick, and then come back and, and then, of course, heal up our magma sore before doing the, the, the beta version of that battle. And I, I definitely feel like it's going to be a little bit... Cause, we're only at half health right now, you guys. I think I'm going to do it. Let, let, let's go, and I guess we can test out the, uh, the the mining drill when we're there. So I guess we'll get a decent distance away so we can actually teleport without teleporting them. And we haven't been to the moon in a while, so uh, I guess we could also test out how well the tech armor is over there on the moon. I don't know how good this is, but I guess we'll check. There, you'll get a little bit of something from there. Oh, yeah, and then, of course, yeah, yeah I forgot that the tech helmet has, like, this, uh... I don't know where we went on the moon, but I guess we go like the west, somewhere we probably haven't been before. But yeah, we could change like the visibility or whatever with this by doing. How do we do this? Okay, yeah, this is like. Is that the one that shows the outlines of crit? Okay, here's like the night vision, and then here's like the combination of the night vision. And then I think because we have the ocular. Oh wait, no, we don't have the ocular implant right now. Yeah, we took that out. See, there it is right there. And yeah, see, in this mode, it shows the outlines of critters. And yeah, you can't see the outlines right now. Ooh. So yeah, it is pretty helpful to have that. I might want to turn that on on this so we can actually see any nearby hostile critters a little bit easier. Teleporting always makes me a bit dizzy. Let's turn that on. Is it showing them? E very slightly. Very slightly. Nothing too crazy, but we do have the mining drill right now. So let's try and look for... Uh, oh, oh, oh. Oh yeah, and I forgot. There, there is like low gravity here. There's the X-Raptor and stuff down there. Let's try and look for some... Here we go, a lot of green glowing rock over here, perfect. And it is in the shade too, nice. So grab as much of this as we can. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay, that's good. Grab it with the, uh, oh, oh. Yeah, for some reason I had to power up the, uh, the mining drill right there, but it wasn't working for a split second. It didn't show the powering up animation. But let's grab all this green rock over here, and I guess we drop the stone off here in just a moment after we're done. There you go, got pretty much all that, and we can start heading down now, but we have a I can think right there, and I think we should do damage. I don't know if I've tested it out. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. Able, I'm not seeing us doing damage to him. So, I guess we'll get him like with the shotgun. Boom! Kill the defense unit right there. Nice. And he's dead. <laughs> Great. All right, let's get some more over here. I think we have like 30 something ambergris right now, and we are uh, taking a lot of like coldness right now. We do need to watch out for that. And there's a lot more green rock down there, which is good. We're still doing great on carry weight right now. I love that. Uh, oh, X Raptor right there. We want to watch out for. Oh yeah, and then I think we could actually harvest the X-Raptors with a chainsaw or something. Can I harvest? I don't know if I can... Hold on. I don't know. Let me let me check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got some electronics and scrap uh, stuff right there. Not too bad, I suppose. But we could definitely drop the stone. 100 and something pounds right there. 160 pounds. Yeah, that's a lot. Way more than I need. Let's power this back up as we're continuing to take damage. Uh, took, got a little bit of obsidian right there, but I don't really need that. I'm just, I'm just purposely avoiding the obsidian. If we need obsidian, we're in a volcanic biome. We don't need to... Get the obsidian here, right? We need to get the ambergris and lots of it so we can actually last a little while. I don't know what happened to our supply of ambergris, but it's like I can gone, so that sucks. Oh, and it overheated, yeah. That's something we need to watch out for, too, is that whenever you use this thing for an extended amount of time, it will overheat, so you have to kind of be a little bit more sporadic with your, your use of this. And we didn't get any right there. We're just getting stone now. We're not even getting ambergris. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Hmm. We still have... Oh, there's some stone here. I don't know if... Uh, oh, we're too far away. Still a lot of... Whoa, a lot of stone over here we could potentially mine. Let's see how we do with this. I wonder if the TLC thing did uh, anything with the tech stegos. Or just the regular stegos. Because they have like this... Tail whip impaling attack now. And I don't know if there's this tech... Mammoth. I don't think so. I'm, if there is, I don't know about it. <laughs> but I wonder if it even affected the tech variants of it. Probably not, honestly. I th I, or else they probably would have mentioned it. Uh, but it would be pretty cool heck and having a tech stack. Can I tame that thing? Check it with a spyglass. Oh, it does say it is tameable with torpor. I, I guess we can knock out a robot using drugs. That's kind of weird. <laughs> I guess we'll try and. Oh! I don't know if. Oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. We're really low on health right now, you guys. We need to watch the heck out. Let's go, let's go. Glide. What? Why am I. 
I don't- I, I didn't fly right there. That was not me launching up in the air. I think the stego attacked me or something. But we need to teleport out right now. We need to heal up, get some food, and let's get out of here now, Helena. Let's go to the volcanic southeast. Boom. Alright, let's continue to heal. How much ambergris did we get out with? 234. I think that's more than we got the first time around. That's great. Let's drop the- eh, you know what? We can keep the stone. Oh yeah, I forgot. When you have the mining drill, like, equipped, the carry weight of stuff, like, goes down substantially. Like, someone reminded me that in the comments. Yeah, this seems amazing, guys. Only 97 pounds for 7,000 stone? Like, if I unequip it... Teleport oh, whoops. Activated. I guess we'll check uh, once we teleport. But I think if we unequip it, we should be... It should weigh, like, hundreds of pounds or something stupid, right? Let me check. Teleport. Yeah, 388 in the, the wood, 52 pounds. And then this... Yeah, look at that. Oh my gosh, I don't- that goes down to like, what, a quarter of what it was, basically? Let me see, where do we go? Yeah, it, it goes down so much that I'm able to actually go up into the sky and start gliding around! Not really! Ow! Oh man, I need to get those tech boots, so if, if that ever happens, I don't have to worry about the, the fall damage that's going to be happening to us, right? But either way, let's go over here, let's get on our Magnus Ward, let's give him some of this Ambergris, give him up to full health. And then I guess we'll go do the beta version of this mission. Let's just give it all to him. I don't care. He's our, he's our main Magmazor right now. Anyways, boom. All right, nice. And I guess we'll put all the extras out. Oh, yeah, we can't we can't unequip the mining drill or else we'll get rid of that extra carry weight, unfortunately. But there you go. Put all that up. There you go. I think that's fine. Nice. And we didn't have any... Yeah, I didn't even think about it. We didn't have any problems in the lunar biome just a moment ago when we had the tech helmet on. I wonder if we got... Oh, yeah, I think we already tested it, didn't we? Yeah. We, st we had some problems with the gas. Yep, right, right as I say that, we had some problems with the gas last time we had the tech helmet. Had some problems whenever we had the heckin' hazard suit as well. I don't know how to fix it. I need, I need, after I record this, I need to go look up how you're supposed to even deal with that. But let's go over here. Oh, whoops, I think I went a little bit. Ah, not, not, not too much off path. Let's go over here. Let's go do the beta version of that mission. And, uh, oh my god, I'm almost dead. What? Man. What's that do again? Does it take you down to like... And it like re-upped on it. Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna die. I got another bit of the gas. Heal, heal. Oh my god. This is so dumb. I've got seven more seconds. I'm gonna die. Oh my god. I'm dead. I died. Oh my god. I, not like I could switch to the other helmet anyways. I'll die no matter what. Well, at least we have a heckin... Oh man. That sucks. <laughs> All right, let's go. Oh, what in the world? I just like went through the wall. The Genesis simulation. You can always have another go. All right, well let's let's grab. Uh, there you go. Let's grab this. I think it has a. Uh, yeah, we have the the jetpack and the glide suit and all that kind of stuff. I know I'm hot, but <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice, ladies. <laughs> let's go over here. Let's glide all the way over there. And uh, yeah, thankfully I have this thing, so I can actually just glide back, no problem. I grab my armor, put it all back on, all that kind of jazz. I have to get all my folders back and stuff. But man. That really sucks. At least we're above all the heckin... Oh, wait. Oh. Oh, I thought for a second I was about to get heckin... Poisoned by all the heckin' gas again. Sheesh. But yeah, let's go, let's go back. I, I don't know exactly where we died, but I think it should show a beacon. Uh, yep, there it is right there. Perfect. Alright, let's go get our stuff back, and I guess we'll do, do the beta version of this mission, and... Hopefully this guy's going to be a little bit better, and if he actually gets, like, heavily damaged... You guys already saw how, how good that Ambergris is at healing him up, like it does hundreds of health at a time or something crazy. Oh, there I am right there. <laughs> Look at how far away we are from the Magma Sword, like, there's my dead body just right there. Let me see if I can grab all this stuff, there you go. And then I'll harvest my own self with a chainsaw. <laughs> Savage attack! Harvesting my own dead body right there, that's crazy. Alright, let's put all the armor back on, so, uh, oh wait, whoops, that was the wrong stuff. I think this is our armor, right? Yeah, there you go. And, uh, we have the shield as well, so there you go. And I'll worry about making the folders and stuff like that a little bit later. Let's get back on a Magma Sword right now, and let's go start that mission again, where I didn't even read the description for it last time. Mission list? One heck of a treasure hunt. Retrieve the skull of an Alpha X Triceratops from its volcanic stomping ground. Don't panic, there's just fire and lava everywhere. Yeah, we could do this one, no problemo, I'd say. And then, uh, if anything, the only thing we have to worry about is the Alpha version of that and the Alpha version of that race. Uh, which we could probably do next episode or something like that. But for right now, let's go do the one heck of a treasure hunt mission. Let's go start that up. Uh, beta. There we go. Perfect. And our guy is full health. Uh, what helmet do we have right now? We have the tech helmet. Uh, I guess we'll put on the... Uh, where is Retrieval it? Uh, there it is. Retreats. You got it? Yeah, that's fine. I guess we'll put on this one just because... Uh, oh, wait. Why do I have no uh, armor durability on the left? 
Is it all dead? No, it's not all dead. I don't know why it says everything's zero on the left there, but whatever. I know, let's go over here, let's go to this first landmark. Let Helena start scanning. And, uh, it's actually not even that big of an area that we have to kind of traverse before she, uh, she finds the Triceratops, like, holdout or whatever, you know? So that's kind of interesting. Ten more seconds here, though. For some reason, that's the one main, like, enemy or, uh, mob right there I have to watch out for is attacking Dodes. Which is good, because they could just armor up and turn it through the defensive position. Let's move on to the next one. And the T-Rex didn't even attack us once during that. <laughs> Alright, let's move on, let's move on. Come on! Come on! Attack that thing with your right arm, not your- What are you doing?! There we go. Come on. Just- I've got to kill the things in front of me or else I can't move. Let's go. Whew, there we go. Nice. Go to the next checkpoint. Let Helena do her thing. There we go. Alright, let's go on land so we can actually- uh, Look at all the enemies that just spawned right there. Hold on, let's uh... And then we'll do the big AoE explosion. I think that did some good damage right there. Nice. And we're still- even though we're uh, on beta, we're doing normal damage to everything, 700 damage. We're still doing a fantastic job right now. I cannot charge because I guess we're in water right now, so that sucks. Let me see if I can- uh, you know what? Yeah, I'm not going to use this awesome spy glass or whatever. The X-Rex still has 100% health right now. Are you kidding me? I can't move! Go, 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 go! We're 13 minutes. All right, that, that, that's fine. Hopefully we still have enough, uh, we still have the same amount of time as to escape, though. Because that's kind of what we had a problem with last time. All right, Helena can scan from a pretty big area, I'd say. So let's try and turn around. That way we can kind of hit everything with the searing spit and stay out of the water as well. Don't hit that trike or else it'll get aggroed on us. We have four seconds, and then we'll move on to the next one, which I think, uh... Oh, it might be, actually. Oh, man, that was a bad idea turning around right there, man. I can't even hit that Carno! This is, this is, this is what, this like, sucks about having such a huge critter, is that everything just attacks your torso, and you can't attack anything because you get attacked with your face and your arms, but everything's, like, way too far away. Man, get out! Oh, my God, how is there so much water and oil everywhere? I can't even use the Searing Spit. All right, let's go. At least we have another alternate pathway over there, which is good. I guess we're big enough to- Yep, we're big enough to climb over that, so that's great. Come on, kill this thing. Get it with the Searing Spit. Just a small amount should kill it. Or at least do some substantial damage. Just get out of the way! Go! Go! What?! Oh, my God. I have to hit these things with the Searing Spit. There we go. We killed everything. The, uh, like, a hundred Dimorphodons right there. Level 100. We just killed them in one hit. That's good. And for some reason, we're slowed down from the- Oh, man, we're actually taking some damage over time from, I think, the Allosaurus right there. Just go! Go, go, go! There you go. Alright. I think, like, right around this corner is, uh, where the T-Rex, or, uh, the Trikes are, so... Don't have to worry about that too much. At least we can charge up right here, which is great. Let's do a Searing Spit Explosion, or whatever this is. I don't even know. It doesn't even seem like it does that big of a thing, you know? Two more seconds and we'll move on to the next area. That's good. Kill those Carnos, kill the Raptors. There's still just Argies there, but I think the next checkpoint is like the entrance of the cave and then, of course, inside the cave itself. So I don't remember if there's any like what. Oh man, there's a T Rex blocking the cave itself. Well, let's actually. No, I got slowed down. Oh my god, these dumb Magmas or uh, what do you call them? Mega, mega, megalosaurs or Allosaurus. I can't tell right now. Everything's beneath me. <laughs> I know it means everything sucks. But, oh man, these Arthropleurus. Well, thankfully I'm not on foot right now. Hold on, let's get these guys up with the Searing Spit. There we go, killed it. That's good, just go. I'm stuck on the mountain, I can't move. Whew, there we go. Basilisk, blocking the entrance. Get it with a big old Searing Spit. Boom. Didn't kill it right there, though. Took it down to 30% uh, percent health. And a bunch of uh, maxed out bats. Hold on, let's get these guys with an explosion or something. Ah, uh, that didn't do anything. All right, let's just go inside. And then we're about to turn around here in just a moment. Oh man, there is water in here. We need to watch out. Come on. Need to retrieve. There it is right there. Come on. Get on the land and then hit it with the uh during spit maxed out. Boom! Did some great damage. It had 20-something thousand health. Oh my god. And it's got a bunch of enemies or uh companions or what minions or whatever over here as well. Let's get another big old searing spit. Boom! Kill those bats. Doing a huge amount of damage. A lot of green numbers on the screen, which is good. <laughs> Killed a bunch of its uh, minion triceratopses right there, which is awesome. Now let's get another big old searing spit right here. He has 35% health, 30% health. He's under 10,000. Keep your eye on the left side if you want to keep an eye on how much health he actually has. 6,000 health right now. Let's get another big searing spit. Should be able to take him out. Uh, no. Oh, that must not have been a direct hit, but there you go. That's good. Let's get the skull. Let's get the skull. Pick it up. There we go. We're good. We have three minutes to get out of here. Come on. Oh my god, Arthopura. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it with the searing spit. Get it. Oh, it's already dead. Okay, that's good. I'm so big, I can't make a U-turn inside here. <laughs> Alright, let's go, 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 go. Alright, nice. We have three minutes. I think we had three minutes last time, which is good. We had a whole minute to spare last time. Might be able to kill that tri- or, uh, T- uh, I don't know, like, like, T-series? 
<laughs> Might be able to kill that T-Rex here in just a moment if we really need to, but I just went around right there, which is good. All right. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. Let's keep going. The end is like right up there, I know. Isn't it like right there? Or is it a little bit further? I think the actual end is like right there, isn't it? Is that it? I don't see the beacon. This is it. Yeah, look at this. What? What? Oh my god! It's... Uh, I guess because I didn't hit the first checkpoint. It, uh, what? I have to go back through all that again? I need to go in the cave and then hit the one checkpoint and then go through all again? What? Well, I know that. I need to go back and backtrack again, Helena. Oh my gosh. Okay, kill this dumb T-Rex. I'm gonna have to redo this whole mission again, aren't I? Get this big thing out of the way! Get out! Oh my god, get out of the way! There we go. Oh my god, we have a minute and a half. We just have to, like, ignore everything. I need to go into the cave and then turn around again! Oh my gosh! Why is this a thing? <laughs> it should just be, like, go to the end, but I have to hit every checkpoint, just like we did to get over here in the first place. Ah. Uh, see, look at that. Oh, then there's- oh, wait, what? Do I have to start from there? Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, we're good. Let, let, let's turn around now, but we have a whole minute left. Oh, man, we're not gonna do it. We're not gonna do it. I was, like, inches away. How much- what am I stuck on right now? Go! Go, 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 go! A whole minute left. Two minutes were wasted. One minute get there, one minute back, and now we have the enemy spawning in. Oh, my God, just, just ignore everything unless I have to attack. Because if I ignore everything- oh, look, look at that, the T-Rex is reincarnated. Hey, look at that, Basilisks. Oh my gosh. Ignore everything and go! No, 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 no! 44 seconds. I think we- oh my god, how is there a ba how is there an Orthopro that just blocked me right there? What? Get out of the way! This dumb trike! This dumb trike! How? How is everything attacking me right now? Oh my god! 25 seconds, they're pushing me up the mountain! Look at this! Look at this picture! How? How in the world do you deal with this? Oh my god, 13 seconds, kill it! Kill it! Why? There we go, they're, they're dead, just let me go! No! Oh my god, there's even more! Oh my god, I could have done it! I could have done it! I was right there! I had to do it twice! Should we have another go? I don't know if I want to, Helena! After all that trash I just went through! Oh my god! Hey, I got two levels during that. Oh man, let's get some more melee damage. Sure! That was garbage! That was pure trash! Man! We're getting pinned in against the wall and literally going up the mountain right there! Because there was like a thousand things chasing after me. I had to hit the first checkpoint without it like immediately counting anyways. Oh, that was terrible. Oh, and now I'm suffocating just to add in insult to injury. That's just what I need, game. I'm wearing the heckin' thing. Why am I dying? Whoa!